click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to never miss another update. Everyone listened with reverence in the mosque as Ali, a respected speaker, occupied the pulpit, sharing stories of the great imams that resonated with both young and old. His voice, though weathered, carried a sweetness that stirred emotions. The mosque brimmed with a diverse congregation, old and young alike. As the narrative unfolded, a sudden interruption occurred. A young man entered. Ali paused, his eyes shifting towards the newcomer. With a measured silence, Ali descended from the pulpit, his gaze fixed on the approaching man. In a gesture of respect, Ali bowed, extending a hand in greeting. The young man returned the gesture. A collective gaze followed their exchange. Uncle, please sit down, insisted the young man. Respectfully, Ali declined. My lord, how can I sit while you stand? He knelt beside the young man, urging, Speak for us, my lord. The congregation waited for the young man's words. The teenager, with a grace beyond his years, addressed the gathering. His brief sermon held a gravity that left many in awe. They wondered, how could such a young man be so knowledgeable and eloquent? After completing his words, the teenager moved to a corner of the mosque to complete his prayers. Meanwhile, Ali, the elderly speaker, observed the scene, his mind drifting to the resemblance between the man and his father. A tear traced a path down his weathered cheek. When the young man left, Ali sighed with a tinge of sadness. The crowd now began to whisper among themselves. A man rose from the crowd and said, It's a shame, your behavior with this teenager. Why did you stop your sermon for him? Another chimed in and expressed his disagreement with the public display of respect. Ali's forehead creased with concern as voices of disapproval found their way to him. Supported by a cane, he rose from his seat, addressing the crowd. Be quiet! By God, this was no ordinary man. This was Imam Muhammad Jawad, the son of Imam Ali Raza. A hush descended over the mosque. Ali, who was desperate to speak to his Imam again, wanted to head towards the direction the young Imam had taken. But before he left, he turned towards the crowd and said, Do you want me to deny his superiority? I seek refuge in God from such thoughts. I will never do such a thing. The words hung in the air, unchallenged. The elderly man left, leaving behind a crowd that was realizing that they had just met the Imam of their time.